How tough is it to get mercury fillings removed? And is that in itself dangerous if it's not done right? Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you run into that one? <laughs> You've been reading some of the oh, things yeah. I've been writing? <laughs> um, very simply, amalgam fillings, the silver-colored mercury fillings, um, they're like little tiny batteries. Some of them have positive electrical charge and some of them have negative electrical charge. Well, back in 1979, we noticed that if you took out the positive current fillings first, bad things happened to the patient. Tachycardia, heart's going brrrr, like that. But if you took out the negative current fillings first, those things didn't happen. The patient began to get better. Okay, question comes up, why? So it took a while, another couple of decades. I was taking a course in forensic toxicology, that is the medicines that uh, people are given that create death. That's basically what the course was, is a toxicology course. Forensic means it's going to court. So <laughs> getting a little serious, you got to have some pretty sound data there. And we had to study the brain. That's when I found out if you take out the, well, whichever one you take out first, the positive or the negative, changes the sodium and potassium balance at the synapse. The nerves don't touch. They come close and they kind of intertwine, but there's an electrochemical reaction that takes place between nerves as the impulses travel along. Sodium and potassium are but two of the electrolytes, the chemicals that work at that area. And if you take out the positive current fillings first, that, those that by measurement with a selected type of meter, register positive, you take those out first, the sodium-potassium balance goes one way. If you take the negatives, the sodium-potassium balance goes the other. If you take it, there are basically eight endocrine glands, the glands that produce hormones, that are paired up against each other. <clears throat> and this is balance. This is out of balance, and that's out of balance. So if you take out the ones, um, the negatives first, it shifts so that these hormones become dominant. And they are the hormones of healing. If you take out the positive current fillings first, then you stimulate the counter ones to healing, which are the fight and flight ones, the adrenaline, the testosterone, the anterior pituitary, the ones that are going to get out here and fight, they're going to kill you as well as somebody else. So you have to stimulate the ones that are healing if you're going to have the patient heal. But if you take out the positive current fillings first, whatever is going on with the patient is going to get more worse.